everyone, it's Gaming Wife, and welcome to a brand new Let's Play series for the channel. We are going to be playing Days of Diver. This game has been in early access for probably the past year, year and a half, and as of today, June 28th, it is now fully released. This game is part diving adventure, part restaurant management, and it's got a lot of quirky, fun elements to it, a lot of Easter eggs, and just overall a lot of fun. So, let's get to it! So now we are in, and that main character is Dave, oh. the diver, and this is his colleague, Cobra, and we're going to start exploring the mysterious blue hole. Oh. Dave, you got here really early. Well, I was told to hurry here. I was on vacation, you know. So where's the sushi at? <laughs> Don't rush yourself. Have a look around. Okay. Look at this giant blue hole. I've never seen anything like this. It's not just the size. Every time you enter the giant blue hole, the terrain and ecology changes, which means this could be an incredible business opportunity. So Cobra is all about the money. Dave, unfortunately, was uh, kind of misled to come here for free sushi, only to find out that he's going to have to put a lot of work in for that free sushi. Yeah. What kind of business? Well, we can discuss that later. I heard you took a break from diving. How about warming up? I'll guide you from here. Go ahead and go on in. Hmm. I don't have a good feeling about this. <laughs> the sushi bar by the blue hole. And there it is right there, the sushi bar. But this is the first part of the game mechanics. So the first part, in the morning and in the afternoon, you'll primarily be doing the diving part of it. And then in the evening time, you do the restaurant management side of things. But I love the graphics. The diving element of this game is amazing. Nice form. All right, how about trying to stretch out a bit? Try moving to the marked area. All right, we're going to go through the tutorial here. All right, still nimble as a freshwater snail. Let's practice using the dive knife. Okay. Yep. There we go. And let's go ahead and use the harpoon. So we want three fish. And I'm not... Okay, there we go. Much better position. So we will be the primary supplier for the sushi. For the sushi bar. All the fresh fish that we catch, we're going to be cooking and slicing them up into sushi. So that was kind of it for the tutorial. Those are the basic mechanics. Alright, now that you got the hang of it, let's get down to business. Dave, you love sushi, right? For sure, that soft fish meat with oily rice. Oh man, that's just the best. I am right there along with you, Dave. Me and my son, mm, we love some sushi. My husband? Not so much. Well, listen up. I have a friend who's a sushi chef who left the business for a while. He has a bit of a sharp tongue and a slight temper, but he has one skill that I can guarantee is unmatched in the world. It is right here that I started a restaurant with my friend that sells one-of-a-kind sushi. 
The sushi sold here is made from the fresh fish caught in the blue hole, where fish from all over the world can be found. Don't you think people will just go nuts for it? Yum, I'm already craving it. Haha, <laughs> I bet. So, why don't you join in on this awesome venture as well? What do you say? I mean, I love eating, but I don't know a thing about cooking. Nothing to worry about. The restaurant's all ready. All you need to do is dive to get the ingredients. Doesn't sound too bad, right? <laughs> We're gonna go ahead and accept. So I can eat as much sushi as I want? Yeah, sure! You have to pay, though. Can't wait to check it out. The sushi restaurant next to the Blue Hole. It was supposed to open tonight, but I'm not sure if it's ready. Let's go have a chat at the restaurant. Alright. Let's head on over to the Sushi Bar. Oh, I love the beats. Hey, Boncho, are we all ready to open? As you can see, it's ready just in time. Oh, it's already finished? You, are you the fisherman Cobra was talking about? Well, I'm more of a diver than a fisherman. All right, anyway, nice to meet you. I'm Boncho, he's the head sushi chef. You like sushi? I sure do. Tuna belly, eel, sea urchin. Oh boy, just thinking about it makes my mouth water. Huh, just as mediocre as expected. Sushi is a food that combines the soul of sea and land. It symbolizes Mother Nature herself. Most people, however, have only tasted more accessible fish just like you. How empty a life is one that ends without ever tasting the beauty Mother Nature can offer. He is very passionate about sushi. My calling is to bring the taste of Mother Nature to everyone. Uh oh! Well, the sushi bar became a sushi shop. <laughs> An earthquake? Hmm, the interior is quite the mess. Yeah, it looks like we'll have to delay opening today. You know what? I spent all my money getting this restaurant ready. I'll have to recover the repair costs through doing business. In this state? Haha! In the end, the importance of a restaurant's a taste. First, we need ingredients. Did you bring anything? Well, I have something I just caught. Hmm. Only three fish? This won't be nearly enough to serve the guests. Please go and catch seven more fish first. Oh, and the restaurant's going to be open only in the evening. Won't that decrease the sales? You think we should invite customers without adequate preparation just to make a little more money? Well, considering the fact that you're okay to like serve it in this state, I don't think it would matter. It's a chef's duty to prepare the best possible food with meticulous precision, just as a warrior sharpens a sword on a whetstone. You will need to get me the best quality ingredients during the day. Okay. I love the sign. It seems Boncho's really passionate about his work. He may not talk about personal stuff, but this guy can talk about sushi all night. I haven't seen Boncho so enthusiastic since the incident. It's nice to see him like this. The incident? Oops, maybe I should have brought that up. Well, anyway, we need more ingredients, so go catch those seven fish. Alright, so we have ourselves a couple objectives. We need to catch seven fish and hopefully make enough money to repair Boncho Sushi to a more appropriate state, because it's kind of falling apart over there. Now, a good rule of thumb is uh, the bigger the fish, the more expensive. The more expensive the fish, the more expensive the sushi is, and we get more money. Now, I can't go too deep in the beginning because of my equipment, but I can sure find a few goodies, I'm sure. And I have limited storage. And I won't be able to get any of the, the big, big boy fishes, but... Ow! I might be able to snag myself a couple different types. Resources that you gather can be used to upgrade the sushi bar. Either for cosmetic or for actual improvement. Oh, I missed the mini game. Let me try that again. Okay. And come here, blue tank. Alright, I'm gonna try 
this guy again. Let's see. You kinda have to angle it just right. Ooh, there we go. It found a little goodie there. Let's see if I can get this guy again. There we go. So maybe a couple more of those would be good. I probably won't be able to get those red guys quite yet. Ah, oh, darn. Let's try again. Come here, you. Yes. All right, let's give that try for this guy. I don't think so, though. Yeah. We need some a little bit more. Now, there was oxygen up there, but let's go take a look at the treasure chest. Now, the treasure chest can have a variety of items. Sometimes they'll give you weapons. This one is an underwater scooter, which will allow us to go a little bit faster if we need to escape quickly. And there are some aggressive fish. In fact, you can see some right there. Yeah. We are not probably gonna be okay with them. There's two of them too, which is kind of a shame. So your oxygen will kind of act as your um, health bar as well. So you don't want to get hurt because then you drown. And if you drown, you're only allowed to grab one item that you have collected. Oh, look at this sneaky guy over here. Oops. Okay, we can't collect those guys. All right, let's go up here and see if we can't find some more treasure. In addition, there are shells that you can find. And there will be a little side quest about collecting certain types of fishes and seashells. Oh, here we go. We got ourselves a baseball bat, which is a little bit better than the diving knife that we had. And we will use it on here to smack some copper. And the copper will be used as a crafting component for better weapons. Now the cool thing about the mysterious blue hole is that every time you go in, it's different. In addition to that, it has a magic power where any weapons that you gathered, like the baseball bat, will disappear as soon as you go up to the surface. Got some kind of magic. <laughs> well, here we go. We got some wood here. This is an escape pod, so if I need to go to the surface really quickly because I'm hurt or something like that. You can take that. Ooh, yes! You have exceeded your weight limit, which will slow you down. If you exceed an even higher amount, you won't be able to care anymore. Press escape to organize. So we're gonna be a little bit slow. I'd still like to try to gather as much as I possibly can. Now those lionfish go for a pretty decent amount. So that would be quite nice. Oh, let's grab some more. All right. What are we gonna get rid of? We are gonna get rid of something cheap. So, let's see here. We're gonna go for like this guy right here. Let's go ahead and discard him. Okay. So here's a starfish, which we yeah, we can't get. All right, some free oxygen here. Very good. All right, so I think what we're gonna head, we're gonna go do now is head to the surface. Ooh, what do we got here? Is this treasure? It is, it's a treasure. Well, we gotta take the treasure. All right, let's see here. Uh, let's go ahead and get rid of this blue tank. Okay. Oh, I still can't, huh? Ooh, one more. Um. Ooh, I don't know if I'll need the thorns or not. I could possibly use that as like an upgrade. So let's go ahead and grab one of these blue tanks. See if that's enough. Still not, huh? Um. Uh, one more blue tank. There we go. Oh, look at that. We got health, I believe this is. 
we won't be able to grab it, of course. Oh, it's Kajumi, an edible brown algae species. Has a slightly bitter taste and can be used for soups or for seasoning. All right. Well, we're going to go ahead and boost ourselves up to the surface. Not a bad haul for our first dive. All right, looks like you caught quite a few. At this rate, we're going to make boatloads of money in no time. Ha <laughs> ha. My, my, would you look at that time? We'll have to hurry up and get things ready. Why don't you head to the sushi bar? Yes, let's make ourselves some sushi. All righty. So the biggest fish we caught was this yellow back fusilier. Hopefully I said that one right. All right, so we got black spot sea bream, an orbicle... Orbicular batfish, rainbow wrasse, yellowback fusilier, and the red lionfish. And it tells you kind of the value over here. So let's head over to Boncho Sushi. By the way, you'll only be able to dive once in the morning and once in the afternoon. Get the ingredients ready before the dinner hours start. So I actually like that. I don't know if you guys are familiar with diving, but you actually have only a certain amount of time that you're really supposed to be diving for, and that's just so that it allows your body to decompress. So I like that they kind of added that element to the game as well, where you can only go diving a short amount of time, a couple times a day. So how are the preparations coming along, Bancho? Hmm, I think we're mostly set. That's good! Here's to a great evening. Where do you think you're going? Didn't you hear from Koba? You're here to help me run the sushi bar from today onwards. What? I don't understand. Cobra told me that there would be somebody to help with the ingredients and serving. He said all I needed to do was cook. And who else is there for that but you? Wait, I've never worked at a restaurant before. I guess we'll be here soon. I'll give you a quick primer, so pay attention. What? Open the ingredients below. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and get our menu prepared. So this is where you can check for your fishes, crops, sauces, and any other materials you have. For now, that's all you need to know. Okay. Now to get the actual items registered to the menu. New recipes need to be added to the menu before they can be sold to customers. Alright, so we're going to go ahead and add one. Now I know that the first one you're going to give is going to be or the first one you make is going to be given to Cobra as a freebie. So, knowing that, I want to give him the cheapest one I got. <laughs> He's a sloucher. He doesn't do anything. So, we're going to go ahead and give him the cheapy stuff and save the good stuff for the customers. Alright, so you can set it to auto supply as long as you have the ingredients in your pop bar or in your inventory. And then as soon as you run out, then he starts uh, making like just a, a sushi roll with uh, seaweed. That's it. Which doesn't sell for very much. Also, you can enhance the flavor of dishes. And that's by basically sacrificing um, a couple of the fish, same fish type that you caught to enhance the value of it to basically increase the quality and uh, price of it. All right. So let's go ahead and close this up. How long are you going to stand there talking? Oh. Give me a cup of green tea to quench my thirst. Hmm, have you perhaps poured green tea before? Mm. No, only soft drinks, I think. Mm. Hmm, I'll tell you how. Go over Cobra. Alright. We must pour the perfect cup of tea. If you go over, you fail. If you go under, you fail. And it's kind of just timing it. That's about it. Oh. Waha, as expected, Bancho's green tea is quite something. Mmm, that tea really got my appetite going. Is there something to eat, perhaps? Demanding as always. Why don't you try serving him some food while you're at it? So there's that one that we put on the, uh, on the menu there. Come over to where I am and take this food. Will do. All right, let's dash on over to Cobra. He's not, he's not very patient. Hello. You sent the package last week, you say? What in the world? Let me check on that. Not polite either. Cobra didn't even eat it. He's always distracted like that. 
The food can't be reused, so we'll have to throw it out. Mm. It seems like such a waste to throw it away. <laughs> Boncho Sushi never reuses food. We do not put food made for guests on the table twice. Mm. Well, all right. I mean, poor Dave. Dave should have at least gotten it. He's the one who caught it. But unfortunately, we must throw it away. Everything looks about ready. Hmm, I haven't cooked for customers in a while. I'm kinda nervous. <laughs> Don't forget to press E after filling the menu for business to begin. Alright, so, now that we kind of got our little cheapy one thrown away, we can now start putting the good stuff on the menu. So let's do that. Um, I'm going to actually swap this out for the good stuff. Yes. And I'm not going to enhance it. See, what it'll do is it'll take three of the uh, red lion fish that we have to enhance the quality to a level two. But then that'll leave us with just one left. And the increase in price is three, but you get double the satisfaction. So we'll wait on that for this time. So instead, what we're going to do is we're going to add all four of these to the menu. There we go. And let's go ahead and add this yellow back as well. And just to show you the cutscene, because there are cutscenes, I'll go ahead and use three of these ones to enhance the quality of this guy. Each fish has kind of a different cutscene when it comes to enhancing. <laughs> <laughs> that one's probably my favorite. <laughs> All right, so now we have a base of level two now. Perfect. And that's five right now. I'm going to go ahead and leave it at that. You don't get too many customers when you first open up, so I don't want to waste any, any that we had prepared. All right, so let's go ahead and pour a nice cup of tea for this young lady. And Boncho's already getting going on the sushi for this one. <coughs> Poor Dave's gonna be running his tail off. I got tired. All right. Let's go ahead and add two of these guys to the menu. There we go. So she wants just the plain Jane kind of one. Whoops. There we go. Oh, I'm coming. I'm coming. Don't get mad. Don't get mad. I'm huffing and puffing over here. Poor Dave, working his tail off. Diving by day, running his hind off by night. Now, sometimes you have to pick up the dishes, but we haven't actually had that happen yet. Oh, we need to add a couple more items to the menu really quickly. We got a few of these guys. Let's go ahead and um, let's enhance the quality for this one, the sea breeze. Aw, no special cutscene for that one. Oh, I think it's close to closing time. Uh, so we might have wasted these three. Yeah, I think we did. Closed for the day. So, as to be expected, the red lion fish sushi was our best one, but we made 75 for our first day. Not too bad. <clears throat> Whew. Work's finally done for the day. My back and legs hurt. I see. You were a bit clumsy, but not bad for a first day. Try a little harder next time. Work it all. I suppose coming from you, that's a compliment. <laughs> A man should not feel gratification from simple compliments. Mm -hmm. 
Yeah, yeah, all right. In any case, a toast to the opening of Bancho Sushi. Who's been diving around here? Yeah, I think so. I was expecting a more professional looking guy. I can hear you, you know. In any case, can you do something for me? Shouldn't you tell me who you are first? I'm Ellie. I study biology at the local graduate school. I've come out to investigate after reports of anomalies in the area. Satisfied? Okay, so what do you want? I'd like you to study the ecology of the blue hole. Get me some agar and red starfish first. I don't think it's a good idea to ask for just one, so get me two of each. Your tone makes me want to refuse. Huh, I've got a reward, but if you don't want it, that's fine by me. A reward? Well, I wasn't refusing, I'm just saying. You could ask more nicely. In any case, please hurry. Don't Ellie. Yeah, Ellie's a little bit, uh, she's a little something. <laughs> All right, so now we got access to our phone. Our phone is going to have a bunch of apps on it eventually. But for now, all we've got is a contact for Cobra and Bancho, and then later on we'll get Ellie as well. So, it is the morning. Let's go ahead and get to diving. All right, and as you can see, everything is different. But I spy with my little eye a starfish already. Ooh, and a pot. So pots usually will have ingredients that we can get. Oh, there we go. Ooh, that one gave me quite the fight. Let's see what we got for goodies today. Uh, no. That is a toy hammer that does absolutely nothing. It's a toy. So we're going to try to aim for that ink pot. Oh. All right. We're going to wait for him to put his scales, his uh, spikes down. Come on. Oh, it figures. Oh, darn. I was hoping we would be able to grab one, but we need a better harpoon or at least a better weapon. Let's see here. We got ourselves another artifact. Bowl. Some more copper. And we're going to keep going to the left here. See if we can't grab ourselves that cooking pot. See what kind of treasure that's got. Oh, but before I do that, this is for the quest. I do like the fact that it's got these little indicators on there. It makes it much easier to know what it is you're trying to look for. You got this big guy. But he is much too big for us to harpoon, but we might be able to slice and dice him. Because he's slow. He's big and slow. But he's also very heavy. My goodness, we need a better weapon. I've gotten them before. There we go. Slice and dice while we're in the middle of the ocean. Hopefully we don't get attracted by uh, any sharks or anything like that. There are absolutely sharks. And they are aggressive. Ooh, a spare oxygen tank. That is very handy. Got some more wood to fix up the sushi bar. And buy some copper here. Okay, let's get up. We're a little too deep. Let's give us a little bit of an air there. Ooh, we got 
There's lots of trigger fish. Uh-oh, running out of air. There we go. We used our spare oxygen tank. So if you go further down and you're not quite prepared, you will start running out of oxygen a lot quicker. All right, so what do we got here? Oh, ow. Okay, we got turmeric. All right. So that eel got a little snippy with me. Did not appreciate that. So we're a little bit over encumbered, mainly because of the big boy that we got. So let's just do a little bit exploring. Let's take a look at the inventory. Do we have two of each? I got one starfish, two agar, got one red starfish. Do we have two red starfish? No, we got only one. So I need one more red starfish if we can. So let's keep our eyes peeled for that. Now we can go up to the shallower area. Ow. Uh-oh. Give me some air. Give me some air. Nope, that is not air. Okay, we're gonna... We're gonna go to the top. Hurry, hurry, hurry! No! Mistakes were made. So now this is where you have to choose one item. Okay, so one thing I have noticed that hasn't been fixed since early access is your ability to scroll down when you're in this menu. I hope they change that. We're going to go for the big boy. Gasping for breath over there. Cobra is obviously not too, uh, not too concerned. Dave, the giant blue hole looks infinitely more dangerous than any other place. Always pay attention to your oxygen and use the escape pod when you're in danger to get out quickly. I'll rescue you if you run out of oxygen, but you're only able to bring back one of the items you collected. Yes, we have now learned that. But look, we got five pieces of meat at 16 each, so that's going to give us a decent amount of money for the sushi bar. Dave, did you get loosened up yesterday? Mm. Hmm, I saw a lot of nasty fish. It won't be easy to go any deeper. Yeah. Huh, I did notice that the fish in the blue hole have an odd violent streak. Yeah. Perhaps something puts them on the edge? Yeah. Speaking of which, why don't you also take a gun in addition to the harpoon? Mm. A gun? Yeah. I have a friend who's knowledgeable about guns. I'll introduce you to him. Oh, here we go. Here's Duff. Yeah. Wow, Cobra. Been a while. Who's the goofy looking guy next to you? Sorry, that wasn't the nicest thing to say to a stranger. I'm Dave, a professional diver. Interesting. I thought divers were athletic and muscular. You seem to defy my prior knowledge. Like, you got one to talk. <clears throat> People who live in glass houses. Uh -huh. So what's this about? I'd like you to get straight to the point. Hello. I've begun a very interesting business. Hello. And now I'm in need of some weapons. Duff, I need your help. Hello. Huh. Season 2 of Strastella just ended anyway. I'll give you a listen. Alright, I actually discovered a fascinating giant blue hole. The terrain and ecology inside it changes every time you go inside. Oddly, any equipment found inside breaks down when brought out. I'd like you to make us a weapon that can be used inside. Hmm, that is rather interesting. You've piqued my interest as a weapon researcher, you could say. My hypothesis is that anything that's not made from materials found in the blue hole will continue to break down. This will be equally true of guns, which have precision parts. Hmm, so we'll have to get the materials from the sea ourselves. Huh, Dave, you'll have to prove yourself as a diver to this master duff. I'm not sure why I should have to prove myself to you, just tell me what you need. Since it appears you have no guns at all, let's start with something easy. I think you're gonna need one rope and one scrap iron. You heard him right, Dave? Enter the blue hole and bring him some rope and scrap iron. By the way, if you run out of oxygen midway, you'll only be making it back with one item. Keep that in mind, always. Yes, sir. All right, take two. Here's one of those nasty little buggers that can eat us. We need a much better harpoon to go up against sharks. 
All right, well, here's one of the red starfishes that we need for Ellie, so let's grab that. Okay. Ah, here's the agar. No, never mind. It looked like it. I did buy a little chest over here. Where was that last time? <laughs> One thing to note in this game, try not to be greedy. It's very hard, very, very hard, but try not to be greedy. Let's see if we can't snag a few fishies to make up for our uh, last escapade. Oh, all right, so we're a little bit too deep. We're gonna quickly grab these guys because we go through oxygen very fast. Okay. So we got that. And we got the iron. So we just need one more red starfish for Ellie. Alright, so here's an escape pod. Did we need it? Oh! Go away. You're mean. Oh my goodness, there's so many of you guys. Mean boys, mean boys. Go away. We are not ready to go up against those guys. Ow! Oh my goodness. All right, I need to grab you really quick. Thank you. Okay, well, I do want the oxygen that's right there. Let's see if we can't lose these guys first. Now, the further you go to the right, there, the more your danger increases, yeah. this big guy without your friends trying to help you out because I can sell you for lots and lots of money come on die already there we go slice and dice time Oh, he was a level three, so I got to get three, three out of him. That's very good. So the scrap iron will absolutely be used for other things. So that'll come in handy. Okay. We can go up against you by yourself. There we go. Just not like five against one. Doesn't work very well that way. All right, so we're at 7.8 out of nine. I can try my hand with this guy. Oh, I got him. All right, tight trigger fish. We're gonna head on up to the surface. So we got everything for Ellie. And we got everything we needed for Duff. Ooh, some extras. A cheap Japanese sword which don't really need since we're going to be heading up to the surface now anyways there we go we're not going we're going to return to the boat so we can actually salvage everything we got we even got another artifact there you go ellie huh, yeah she brought him back i guess i expected too little of you all right this should do for now i'll give you a reward as promised since you helped me do my research the sudden ecological changes in this region will need to be studied further, so I'll continue to need your services. Add my number. Now, she actually gives you, like, actual good rewards. So, some ingredients to spice up our sushi and straight up money. Love that. And now we got Duff. Well, to think you'd actually manage to bring it back. I expected you to quietly expire in the depths, you could say. No, that was last time. Seems I have underestimated you. Slightly. Very well. I'll show you how to make the basic underwater rifle with these materials. First of all, download Duff's weapon shop on your phone. It's well optimized. Only 42 make bites, you could say. Alright. And we're gonna craft. And of course he has his own cutscene. <laughs>
<laughs> the cutscenes are so goofy. I love them. Yes, we're gonna go ahead and equip this right away. Huh. With a neat explanation like that, even someone like you should have understood. Well, I guess. Oh, and one more thing. I've taken some measures to allow you to open weapon chests underwater. Wow, weapon chests. You can't bring them out of sea, but they can still come in handy, you could say. Oh, but I'll collect info about the weapons you pick up and create blueprints for you. Weapons made with the blueprint won't break down underwater, you could say. In any case, this master will be watching you. Goodbye, eternity. He's an odd duck, <laughs> but he's very resourceful. All right, so now moving forward, we'll be able to find blueprints and supplies underwater, which will allow us to craft better weapons. And as you can see here, like copper and scrap iron, even like the seashells and starfishes are used. Dave, you collected a hundred gold. Great job. This should be enough to repair what's broken. <laughs> then give me some time. These repairs need to be done right. I really hope the customers keep coming. All right, and we got ourselves some more parrotfish meat. That'll go great on the menu. Level three too, so they're at 16 already. We might spin some of this to actually upgrade the quality. Hmm. All right, let's head on back. Boncho is waiting for us. So we've got Ellie and Duff added as contacts in our phone. <clears throat> well, it doesn't look too much better. <laughs> All right, let's go ahead and add our menu. Okay, so we've got 15 pieces of meat. Before we do that, let's enhance. So we'll be going from 16 to 20 and 23 to 46. So a nice little bump there for just three. one more further there we go and now we've got eight that we could serve that's a decent amount um i don't know if i should add another let's see the titan one yeah we'll add that that's nine there and we'll keep an eye on our menu board which let's go ahead and open up really quick so i show you is right here so you have an unlimited amount of sushi as long as this bar is full and then we've got our orders of the day up there. So a nice little eye visual of what we have available in stock. All right, let's go ahead and pour some green tea. Perfect. Gotta kind of do the left and right triggers of the mouse to clean that up. There we go. How are we on the menu? We got two left after this. Okay. And we got just a little bit more time. She might be our last customer, actually. Perfect. I actually timed that pretty good with only one one left over. 276 gold. Nice. Not too shabby. And not to be expect nothing surprising there. The parrot fish sushi was our best seller. So we netted a profit of 231. Perfect. And it shows kind of like tips here. I don't know what others this. But overall. Not too bad. And we got a five star rating. 
And we're going to go ahead and leave this episode here. If you enjoyed it, do hit that like button. And we're going to go ahead and see this guy for a second. There we go. Dr. Bacon, we're going to leave it off with you. Okay. If you enjoyed this first look and first episode of a brand new series, do hit that like button. If you have any comments, suggestions, tips, feedback, spoiler free, please. I have not completed the storyline. Um, do leave it in the comments section below. And if you want to be notified when the next episode hits, do hit that subscribe button. Thank you everybody for watching and have an awesome day. Mm -hmm.